La Ayla Padraig Sunadich. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hello, and welcome to everybody celebrating St. Patrick's Day with the London Irish Centre. I'm Roxana Nicolaim, and I'm here at EPIC, the Irish Emigration Museum in Dublin. This award-winning venue celebrates the influence of Ireland and people of Irish heritage all over the world. Today we're here to pay particular homage to the Irish in Britain. From doctors and nurses, dockers and labourers, waiters and writers, educators and entertainers, here you'll find the stories of those who left Ireland for work, for adventure, for a new life and even for love. Come with me now to see how the experiences, the achievements and the stories of those who left Ireland and their descendants are celebrated here today. Wherever we have gone and however we have travelled there, from Corrux, famine ships to even the Titanic herself in Belfast, our culture and our language has travelled there too. Say what you want about the gift of the gab. The Irish have always been great storytellers. Whether through music or song or just having the chats, we've provided hours of entertainment and a lifetime of experience. With over 400 official GA teams abroad, it's only natural that we brought our Schlitters and Commands to Britain, with 82 clubs currently found there. Did you know that the Liam McCarthy and Sam Maguire Cups are both named after past presidents of the London GAA? And let's not forget the Scotland GAA teams. Fair play especially to the Robert Gordon University GAA Club, who raised thousands recently for the Irish Cancer Society. Thanks lads. From the giant Cayleys in London back in 1897, to the Shano singers from Connemara who sang in English folk clubs, right up to the most beloved singers, dancers and bands known all around the world today. Our love for music and dance is something we can all share. One of our proudest Irish exports is Irish dance. From a joyous jig to the world-renowned river dance, our dances are proudly performed all over the world. And with the amount of champion Irish dancers in Britain, would you fancy a dance? There's not many of us right now who wouldn't fancy being in the Owl Triangle in Finsbury Park, but did you know that the oldest Irish pub outside of Ireland was the Tipperary in London? It was also the first pub outside of Ireland to serve a creamy pint of Guinness. From the work of Orla Kiley to the millinery of Philip Tracy, right through to Francis Bacon and Sean Scully, you will see the work of those who influenced design in Britain and worldwide. The stories we tell have always been an important part of Irish tradition. From Terry Wogan to Ashton B, Dara O'Brien to Derma O'Leary, Fiona Shaw to Colin Wilkinson, our voices ring loud and true. Now we can't be together in person this year, but here at Epic we have a shared belief. Takiangal iter gokdine. Every person is connected. And it's these connections that bring us together this St. Patrick's Day. La Ayla Padraig Sunadic. Happy St. Patrick's Day from EPIC, the Irish Emigration Museum in Dublin. Slán August Bannacht. <laughs>